السلام عليكم سبجكت او نوان تقاضان دونا و ماذيماتيكس فصل كان و فون 3 شابتر كان قاضان دونا و نمبس نمبس is a broad topic or a wide topic but in this topic we will discuss sets learning outcomes by the end of the lesson learners should be able to describe sets in different ways describe the different types of sets distinguish between equal sets and equivalent sets determine the numbers of subsets and proper subsets now a set a set is a collection of objects a set is a collection of objects the object or symbols are called elements of the set now a set i said a set is a collection of objects the objects can be numbers the objects can be letters now a set of books a set of pens a set of numbers those are examples of sets now a set uh, we have let's say whole numbers like zero one two three these are examples of a set now always a set is enclosed with brackets and the objects which are inside the brackets we call them uh, elements we call them elements or we can call them members of the set members of the set uh, ways of writing sets ways of writing sets there are several ways of writing sets there are five types of writing sets one we have the roster method roster method or this one is also called listing all elements listing all elements like for example let's say we have set a b c set a b c d so that is listing all elements uh, a very good example of the roster method is the class register when we talk of the class register names usually start from a to z usually starts from a to z but the order is not important what is important here is the element should, mo should not be repeated uh, twice so that is one way of writing set is the roster method another way of writing set is listing enough elements listing enough elements enough elements here i mean for example let's say set b contains one two three and then and so on and so on so this is another way of writing sets you list part of the element instead of writing all the elements uh, method number three uh, rule number three is uh, by description by description another way of writing sets is by description you describe the set describe the set for example let's say set a set a contains all even numbers just write x representing there and then you write even numbers even numbers so all even numbers are will be now inside the the brackets so this is another way of writing a uh, set another example is instead of writing uh, all the names of a certain class you just say uh, set a contains uh, x representing all the students in form 3a so you just write like that so this is another way of writing uh, this is another way of writing uh, sets by description the fourth way of writing sets is known as by algebraic expressions by, by algebraic expressions that is number four 
by algebraic expressions. For example, I want to list all the numbers from 1 up to 1,000. So it will be very tedious for me to write from 1 to 1,000. What I will do is, I just name that set, set A, uh, is numbers between 1,000. You just write X representing the numbers, less or equal to 1, uh, greater or equal to 1, less or equal to 1,000. So that is another way of writing uh, sets. Set, uh, the last one, number five, is set by Venn diagram. We use Venn diagram. Venn diagram. Venn diagram here, this one is, you use shapes to represent the numbers. For example, I draw circles, and then I write the numbers inside the circles. One, two, three, four, and so on. So these are the five different ways of writing sets. Types of sets types of sets. There are three main types of sets. There are three main types of sets. We have A, the finite set. Finite set, this one contains limited number of elements. This one contains limited number of elements or definite number of elements. Finite means you can count the number of elements in each set. B, we have the infinite set. Infinite set, this one contains a limited number of elements. For example, you can write one, two, three, and then, and so on. So this is uh, our second way of writing uh, our second type of set. The last type of set is the null set. The null set. The null set or the empty set, this one means is a set which contains no element. No element. Or empty set. We normally write empty set that way or that way. So these are the three types of sets. Exercise now. Example, which of the following sets are empty? Set of counting numbers, set of counting numbers between 5 and 6. So 5 and 6, there is no any number between 5 and 6, so therefore this one becomes an empty set. Set of odd numbers between 7 to 19. 7 to 19, we have 7 up to 19, the odd numbers will be 9. Uh, 11, 13, and 15, and 17. So these are the numbers, the odd numbers between 7 to 19. So therefore, this one is not an empty set. Set of odd num set of even numbers which are not divisible by two. Uh, numbers that are divisible by two, uh, even numbers which are not divisible by two. All even numbers are divisible by two. So therefore, that one is also an empty set, which are not divisible by two. Okay, the next, equal and equivalent sets. Equal sets. Equal sets, equal sets, these, these sets have the same elements. Let's take an example of two sets. Set A, which is A, B, C, and set B, which is C, A, B. The order of writing the set is not important, so therefore they contain same elements. Equivalent sets have different elements, but they have the same number of elements. So the first set contains one, two, three, four. The second set contains P, Q, R, S. So therefore these two sets are equivalent because they contain same number of elements but different elements. Uh, example, state whether each pair of sets given below has equal sets or equivalent sets. Number one, Two and three, five, seven, and five, three, seven. They contain same uh, elements. 
So that one becomes a nickel set. Uh, 86 8636. Six. The first set contains 86, the second set contains 36. So, therefore, these two sets are equivalent because they contain different number of elements but same number of elements. The next one is 721 and then 127. This one becomes an equal set. Number four, 91725. 2, 9, 3. These two sets are equivalent because they contain a different element but same number. Subsets and proper subset. Now a subset for sets A and B, A is a subset of B if every element of A is also an element of B. This means that A is contained within B. Example, now if A is a subset of B, we write A is a subset of B. A is a subset of B. Example number one, we have A, B, C, and then B, we also have A, B, C, D, and E. Now A is within B. A is within B. So therefore, A is a subset of B. This is the way, way, an, way of writing a subset. So A is a subset of B. A is, contains few elements of B and uh, A is equivalent to B. So therefore, this uh, line means A is equivalent to B. So A, which is A, B, C. And then we have that second circle which represents a uh, b so we say a becomes a subset of b subset of b subset of b a is a subset of b a contains few elements of b and a is equivalent to b a is equivalent to b so that is uh, a is equivalent to b means when the number of elements in a are also the same as the number of elements in B. So that is A and then B. Proper subsets Proper subset is a subset that is identical, is that is not identical to the original set. A, sub, a proper subset contains few elements. Uh, example, true or false questions. The first one is A is a subset of, AB is a subset of ABC. We said that uh, a subset contains uh, few or equivalent to, so therefore AB is equivalent to uh, AB is a subset of ABC. CD is also a subset of CD, they are the same. A is not because A, that one becomes false because A is not a subset of BC. An empty set is a subset of all sets. Consider these two sets, the sets of all even numbers the, sub, the, the set of all even numbers, B, we have 2, 4, 6. C, we have 2, 3, 4, and 6. Here, B is a proper subset of A, and also B is a proper subset of C. Example, let U be the, uh, the, the vowels, that is U, we have a, these are the vowels, all vowels in the English alphabet. So A, E, I, and B, I, O, U, these are proper subsets of, these are proper subsets of the main set that is U, because they contain few elements, they contain few elements. Example three, let A be the subset of the letters of the word flow. F 
follow. Now, follow this one, there are several letters that are repeated. So this one, the set becomes now F, O, and then L, and then W. These are the four elements. These are the, we remove the letters that normally repeat because we said, because we said that uh, the letters should not be repeated. So find, find set uh, A. So the set A is, will be F, O, L, and then W. We remove the letters that normally repeat. The next one is number of uh, proper subsets. Number of proper subsets. Number of subsets or the cardinality of the set, number of subsets is equal to subset. Number of subset is equal to 2 power n, where n is the number of elements in the set. And the number of proper subsets, number of proper subsets. Number of proper subset will be 2 n and minus one, uh, 2 power n and then minus 1. The first set will be uh, 2 power n, where n now contains 4 elements. So this one becomes 2 power 4, which will be equal to 16. 2 power 4 is equal to 16. You multiply 2 4 times. So this one will also be 2 power n, which is 4 minus 1. So this will be 16 minus 1, which is equal to 15. So this one, they are the, the number of proper subsets will be 15, and the number of subsets will be 16. The number of subsets starts from uh, empty set up to the four letters or the four elements. The number of proper subsets also starts from empty and then up to there will be 15 uh, elements. Uh, I'll stop the lesson here. So I'll, I'll request you uh, students to... Uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim.